pretty sure I can take Persepolis this turn. Oh, fi oh, that scout came back. All right. Let's take care of the scout first. Thought you'd be clever. Glad I built that chariot archer. Which means you can finish the pasture unmolested. All right. I want to do maximum damage here. Might lose that catapult, but that's fine. Oh yeah, that's definitely worth it. Alright. Can I do this without losing one of these guys? Indubitably. Or I could use that to strike. How about I move this guy back one? Move this guy in. Uh, I couldn't quite finish it off there. Maybe this jerk can finish it. Yes! All right. No offense, Craig M. Oliver, but you're next to me. And frankly, the only reason I attacked you is because you settled here. Because I wanted to settle here or here. Probably here. I forget. I forget where I wanted to settle. But anyway, I wanted to settle here. You build a city there, so I took your capital. Let's puppet it. I don't want to mess up my culture just yet. And now, I actually have a free unit to press the attack a little bit. And I don't think any of my guys will die. Alright, caravan. Kizzle wants a trade route, so let's just go to Kizzle. That'll be some free money. Let's retreat this guy. Finish your biz. Well, that's what's there. And now I gotta walk all the way back around here because I don't know how to swim. Alright. Yeah, the monument in two turns is fine. The mausoleum, that's also fine. I think that's a good purchase. Yeah, plus two gold for stone and marble. And I've got a marble here and a stone here. Just the two. But that'll be extra gold, which will be a big deal. It's kind of hard to get places that make gold like that. And the 100 gold every time a great person is expended will be reasonably useful in the early to mid game. Should I offer insulting peace? No, I'm not going to offer peace. Because I don't want him to somehow have a unit I don't know about and come in and take Persepolis. I'll wait for him to sue me for peace. I still think I'm actually going to move the army and raise Sousa. Oh, nice, my road. I can finish the road and connect that to my stuff pretty easily. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. So what should Timoek build? I could build another military unit. But I do have the largest military by a margin. Yeah, I think I knocked him out of the game. <laughs> it's going to be real hard to come back from that. Let's just build a water mill. I think I'm fine militarily. If these guys come down here to mess up my biz, they'll be annoying. But it won't be fatal. Because look, this city is working all this stuff over here. It's not even touching these farms, really. It's touching two of the farms. So he could move one, two. He could head this way and bother me. And I'd take me a little bit to get around and fight him. It's all looking pretty good there. Plus, if I really had to. Oh yeah, I could just buy a spear, man. Okay, so if he really pushes, I could just buy a military unit down there. That's totally fine. So I think I'm going to rush to finish Liberty and then take a great scientist and probably use it immediately to build the... Academy or whatever on one of these squares by my capital. Yeah. Oh, all my units are in friendly lands now. 
Which is a bonus I get because I am the Shoshone. <laughs> Sorry, Persia. 